All right, in this video, we're gonna review Atmosphere Aerosol and how this thing really stands out. This product been on the market for a few years now and I've been using it for about four years. I don't really use it excessively hard, but on occasions I actually use this thing. If you're shooting something at the very close location without any wind, no air conditioner, and not for a long period of time. If you need to shoot a scene, let's say, uh, some kind of conversation I'm gonna last more than three minutes, it doesn't really linger that much in the air. In general, it's a very good product. However, like I said, if you guys always filming something, if you're always shooting something that you always need fog or haze or anything like that, instead of buying, these are actually pretty expensive, um, instead of buying them on a daily basis, let's say, or parachute basis, just save a little bit of money and buy yourself a hazer or a fogger, whatever, gonna suit your workflow better. If you're kind of type of photographer or filmmaker on the go and you need something sneaky, really quick, just put it in your backpack, this thing is definitely for you. Just like any aerosol out there, this thing is flammable, so don't be stupid, don't light this thing, don't point this thing at the fire, or anything like that. Don't Definitely don't take this on the plane. But in general, if you're on the go filmmaker or photographer, this is actually a pretty good investment. I use it for one of my stock footage where I couldn't do large hazers or anything like that. It had to be relatively low profile because I only had a few minutes to shoot. And I use one of those cans to completely fill entire giant garage with the, with the haze. So out of five stars, I probably would give this three and a half. It's definitely a great concept, but I wish this thing would linger a little bit longer in the air instead of dissipating very quickly.